Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face makeup tutorial on the perfect model off-duty look. I think this makeup look really encompasses beautiful, natural looking skin, very minimal products, but products that are very intentional and that have a very specific purpose. So let's go ahead and get started. So it is so ridiculously early. Um, I usually film really early in the mornings because I have two little boys and this is the only time that I get to film. So I'm having a large cup of green tea, putting my hair up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start with my skin. So I'm first going in with the Studio 35 Beauty Tone Perfecting Cream and I'm mixing this with my L'Oreal facial oil and I like this combination because it primes and really moisturizes and hydrates my skin. I'm then going to go in with the Boots Botanics eye roll on and this is really nice because it's got a little metal tip so it helps with depuffing and it just feels really good in the morning and it's going to get our eyes looking as great as possible. I'm then going to moisturize my lips with the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. And then to further hydrate my skin, I'm going to spritz the Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin Spray. Another primer that I'm using is the number 7 Skin Illuminator. This isn't really going to do anything for my skin, it's just going to give it a nice radiant appearance. Like I said, it's going to take a lot of green tea to get me going this morning. So for foundation, I'm going in with MAC Face and Body and I'm mixing in the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. I absolutely love this combination. The MAC Face and Body Foundation is only going to even out my skin tone. It's not going to cover anything up. My freckles and all the little imperfections are still going to be showing through. And then the Radiant Luminizing Drops are going to give my skin that really luminous dewy finish. I'm now going in with this Cover FX Cream Contour Kit and taking the two lightest shades and I'm just going to lightly conceal under my eyes just any darkness and really brighten up this area. I don't want to do too much. I want my skin to look as natural as possible. I only want to cover up areas that just need a little bit of concealing. Again, like I said before, I just want to be intentional with all of my products. I don't want to just slap product on my face just for the sake of it. I'm now going to go in with the darkest contour shade and I'm going to use a stipple brush and I'm just going to bronze up the skin and give it a really nice tan bronze just healthy look to the skin just kind of give my skin some more color so I'm just going to apply this around the perimeter of my face and really buff it in. I'm then going to go in with the shimmery highlight shade in this contour kit and apply that right to the tops of my cheekbones and above my brows, down my nose, cupid's bow and chin, y'all know the drill. The majority of this makeup tutorial is using cream products as well as using my hands because I find that this just gives the most natural skin-like appearance. And again, I just want to make sure that everything is nice and blended together. I'm now going to go in with this NYX cream blush and I'm just going to tap it onto the apples of my cheeks and then blend it backwards using my hands. Again, I just, I find that my hands just really help emulsify all the cream products the best and really blend them into my skin. I'm now going to go in with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder just to lightly set down my concealer so that it doesn't crease and it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to very, very lightly set the rest of my face just so it doesn't move around. I did use a lot of cream products and I don't want them to be moving around throughout the day. I'm now going to go in with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light on a large powder brush and I'm kind of using this as a finishing powder. It is quite luminous so I don't want to apply too much but I'm just hitting the high points of my face. I'm now going to take a bar of soap and a little spoolie and I'm going to spray some of my rose water and glycerin spray on the soap. And then I'm going to use this to brush my brow hairs up so they look really bushy and kind of unruly. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and just fill in the underside of my brows where there are sparse areas. I'm not doing a full-on brow routine, I just want to fill in any little gaps. We're 
And again, just kind of give them that bushy, unruly look. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fiber Volumizer. I'm now going to take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and just dust that across my eyelids and that's all we're going to do for eyeshadow. And then I'm going to spray everything down with my Rose Water and Glycerin Spray. I'm now going to quickly curl my lashes and apply my favorite mascara which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and I'm going to put that both on my top lashes and my bottom lashes. For lips, I'm just going in with this NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. I'm going to very lightly outline my lips. I'm not overdrawing or anything. I just want to give them a little bit of shape. And then I'm going to actually fill in my entire lips with the lip liner just to give them some more color. And then I'm going to go over my lips with this Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Lip Gloss. This is really pretty. It's just a clear gloss, but it has a nice iridescence to it, which helps give the lips a lot of dimension and makes them look really plump and pretty. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is one of my favorite ways to do makeup when I want to look really classic and chic, but also it's very minimal. It doesn't take a lot of time, and really your skin is what is showing through. People aren't going to look at you and say, oh, your makeup looks good. They're going to be like, oh, your skin looks really good. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.